Hi Sagittarius, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards what awaits for you in love for the week of December 27th to January 2nd, 2022. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Sagittarius, and then I'm going to take a look at the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are dealing with and connecting with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone, but if it resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. I also wanted to say that if this reading resonates with you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. All right, let's get started. Spirit angels and guides, please show me the energy of Sagittarius in regards to love for this week. All right, let's see Sagittarius first card we have here is the six of swords, the tower card, the ace of cups, the magician, the ace of swords in reverse, the empress card in reverse. Yes, that is a rooster for any new subscribers that I have. I live on an island, many roosters outside. <laughs> At the bottom of the deck, we have the sun in reverse. Okay. All right, so let's see your energy here. This is a strange energy. Look at this. Six of swords and the tower. It looks like you're moving towards the tower, like you're traveling towards that tower. So some of you are returning back to something that had ended with the tower card something that fell apart something that got destroyed in some way some of you are returning back to the to the scene of the crime i want to say the ace of cups so some of you are trying to manifest a second chance or you're trying to gain you're trying to get back what was lost or you want to get back what was lost before this could be a, a missed opportunity with the ace of cups Okay, interesting. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm getting that strong energy here. Now I'm looking at all of the cards, trying to channel their energy. And I feel like you want to, you want to go back to something that didn't work out, that didn't, that fell apart, that, that never ha had the chance to really, become anything good but that you feel like it it you still feel like it it could have potential or it still has potential and you want to you want to give it a second chance you want to try again or you want to just see if if there's anything left or if it's or if this tower has just completely demolished so maybe you're just curious to go back and see if there's anything left. If there's if if there's anything that could be saved or or salvaged. The Empress is in reverse. So I feel like you're nervous 
with the Empress in reverse, you're nervous, you're scared or anxious. You don't know what to expect. You don't know what you'll find. You don't know what will be revealed. There's been a lack of communication or a lack of contact between you and something or someone. Feels like you want to make things right here. You want to make something right again. All right. Let's go ahead and clarify these cards, see if we can get more specific details here. Spirit, can you tell me about the Six of Swords, please? Clarify that card. All right, let's see. Sorry for the roosters. Clarifying the Six of Swords, we have the Page of Pentacles in the reverse, and we have the Six of Swords again, twice. Okay. So that's kind of re-emphasizing that energy. Um, yeah, I keep getting a missed opportunity energy here with the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Something fell through in in the past. Something was rejected in the past. Something didn't didn't manifest in the past. And I feel like you want to return back and see if if things could be different. If if you're trying to see if a, a different outcome can come from this. Okay, let's take a look at that tower now. Clarify the tower spirit. We have the hangman. Okay, that's healing energy and the queen of cups in reverse. So you've given it time then. You've given this some time, um, hoping that it will heal, hoping that time would help heal whatever whatever this means in your life the tower card whatever it is that fell apart or ended with the hangman it's like you you took some time apart you you went into hermit mode perhaps and you did some self analysis and healing you're looking at things from a different perspective now And you want to come back to this with a different energy. Or you're coming back to this with a different energy, with a different perspective. You you definitely have your hopes up here. I feel like you're, you're getting your hopes up. A part of you is getting your hopes up. Ha, yeah, a part of you has your hopes up. Tell me about the Ace of Cups, Spirit. The World card. Okay, an ending. And the Nine of Cups. So you want to reopen something because the World card is about closing a chapter or closing a cycle. So again, something might have closed or, yeah, something might have closed here between you and somebody else. But I feel like it's your wish with the Nine of Cups. It's your wish to to reopen this. To, to bring something back with the magician or at least to try it's almost like you I want you want to at least try make make the attempt what's the magician card about spirit we have 10 of 10 of wands again an ending 
and the two of pentacles yeah so okay i feel like i'm repeating myself here so the ten of wands again there was some sort of ending here and the two of pentacles it's like you're juggling you're going back and forth whether you should revisit this or not or or re reattempt something here you're you're juggling you're trying to decide whether it's worth your time or not yeah with, whether it's worth um taking action towards something in your past again or not I feel like you're looking at things from many different angles or perspectives here. You you have love here. You have emotion connected to this tower, whatever it is that ended here. It's like you you still want something. You still desire something. You still feel connected to it, even if it did, you know, fall. Even if it did um, fall apart. There's a there's a there's a part of you that still has some sort of hope or faith that a miracle can happen, I suppose. Yeah, because you know, to to bring back or to to rebuild this tower, it might actually take a miracle because this tower is pretty broken here. All right. Let's see, I'm going to do the Ace of Swords. Tell me Ace of Swords, please. Ace of Wands in reverse and Five of Pentacles. Yeah, something something never got off the ground. It's like you tried to get something off the ground, but it didn't. It just didn't. It didn't have enough force. Or, or maybe you were alone, you know, the other person wasn't helping you. And you couldn't, you know, you can't, you couldn't carry this relationship all on your own. What's the Empress in reverse? King of Swords in reverse, Seven of Wands in reverse. Yeah, I, th I feel like you've been for a while. You've been struggling whether whether you w want to fight for this or not. Whether you have the energy, where you whether you have the inspiration, motivation to to fight for this or not i feel like you've been ba going back and forth um but you you do have the genuine desire i feel to to at least you know see if see if there's anything there to be saved if to see see if there's anything left from this tower ace of cups is at the bottom here so i do feel like you're looking for a new beginning in love here um yeah i feel like you can't you you can't get over this some sort of missed opportunity it's been haunting you i want to say yeah i feel like something has been haunting you a missed opportunity has been haunting you all right let's move on let's go now to the energy of your person Spirit angels and guys, show me the energy of the person that Sagittarius is connecting to or dealing with in love, please, for this week. Sagittarius first card for your person justice might be a Libra that you're dealing with Queen of Swords in reverse could be a Gemini or an Aquarius Nine of Swords in reverse Ace of Cups in reverse the star card I see and the tower in reverse they also have the tower we have the Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck a lot of air energy here air element Hold on, let me just get a bit of water.
Okay. Interesting. So you may be dealing with a soulmate here or a twin flame for some of you. Yeah, this person feels the same way that you feel, Sagittarius, by the way. I don't know if you're aware of that. This person has 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 not been able to get over you either. Yeah. I feel like they're not as optimistic as you are, though. Even though they do have the star card here, which is a card of hope and faith. You know, I still feel like they're not as optimistic as you are. I feel like you're a little bit more higher energy than this person. This person feels more like it is their wish. Because I feel like it is their wish here with the star card to, to repeat something here with you. To have a second chance with the Ace of Cups in reverse. They are still hanging on to this tower, to whatever it is that happened between you two. They are still hanging on to that energy. Energy they haven't let it. They haven't let you go. They haven't gotten over you. They still think about you constantly. Nine of Swords. But I do feel like this person has been very detached from their emotions for a long time. Or for a significant amount of time, they've been, yeah, they've they've made it a, a priority to kind of detach themselves from their own feelings. But the feelings have been there, even though they've been, uh, even though they've tried to detach, um, I feel like. They haven't been completely successful. I feel like they've been feeling a lot of grief on underneath it, underneath their hard exterior. Because I do feel like they have a hard exterior. They've been grieving. They've been grieving this ending or this destruction, whatever happened between you two. And a part of them has been holding on to to the hope that that something will come back to life. Tell me about that justice card. I do feel like you're dealing with someone very stubborn here. Tell me about the justice spirit. We have Ace of Wands in reverse. And we have the Four of Cups. Yeah. I do feel like this person is their own worst enemy. I feel like they've been feeding themselves a lot of negative thoughts, a lot negative ideas negative assumptions here this is definitely someone who makes assumptions that are not based on facts it's it's made up they make up their own assumptions here or um they make up their own facts you know I do feel like this person has been keeping their distance from you. They've been kind of avoiding you. Not really wanting to make contact with you in any way. Um, I don't know why that is. Tell me why that is, Spirit. Why is the Queen of Swords here in reverse? Two of Swords in reverse. And the Five of Cups. Oh, there's that card of grieving that I was talking about. They're just very upset for some reason. They're, they're very upset. They're very emotionally conflicted and heartbroken. Also, also overwhelmed. I, def I definitely feel an energy of guilt. I definitely feel like this person feels like they... 
they mess things up with you and maybe that's not true maybe they're just kind of attacking themselves like i said because i do feel like this person kind of is hard on themselves in some way like i said they i feel like they feed themselves you know really bad thoughts that are not true i feel like they're they're lies they're false false ideas false thoughts so I feel like they put themselves down a lot. And I feel like they have a little bit of a low self-esteem also issue. Tell me about the star spirit. We have the world card. And we have the three of swords. Alright, there, there it is. I was talking about heart, heartbreak. Yeah, the world card and the three of swords. They are heartbroken um by this ending it's like this person didn't want to lose you i feel like you were very you were very valuable to this person and it did kind of broke their heart to to lose your support to lose your love your care whatever it is that you gave them i feel like you gave them something of value It almost feels like support also. I feel like you, maybe you you gave balance, you created balance for this person in some way. So I do feel like it was, uh, uh, it was a loss here. They, they felt the loss. Um, and I feel like with the star card, they've been hoping to, to get you back or to get that. You know, to get that support that they lost, I suppose. Um, I don't know about this person, though, with the Justice card, Sagittarius. I'm not, I don't know about this person. They, I, I feel like this is someone unreliable in their energy. I feel like this is someone very emotional. And I feel like this is someone who fluctuates a lot, like... They're, they, it feels like they're very inconsistent, unreliable. I feel like they. This is the type of person that will ghost you or disappear on you very, you know, very spontaneously or quickly. I feel like their personality personality changes. They might have drastic personality changes. Yeah. All right, I'm going to end the reading here, so I'm going to continue this in the extended reading. We're going to take a look at what are this person's real feelings for you, what are their real intentions, and what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week. All right, Sagittarius, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Please give, please give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.